I know I have R20 syndrome, but what exactly is a ring chromosome? For starters, it's what the R stands for in your diagnosis. The human body is made out of trillions of cells. Our cells contain chromosomes. Chromosomes come in pairs, one from mum, one from dad. 23 pairs per cell to be precise, numbered from 1 to 22. There's also a pair of sex chromosomes, two X's for girls and an X and Y for boys. That's a lot of chromosomes. Sure is, and every single one is important. And that explains ring chromosomes because... Because a ring chromosome is formed when two ends of one become joined together. The chromosomes contain all of our genes. The genes are the instructions that tell our bodies how to grow and develop. So, when a ring chromosome is formed, it may change how those genes work. When a chromosome 20 forms a ring, the result is R20. Some people with R20 have bits of the ends of the chromosome 20 missing. When this happens, we call it a deletion. Other people with R20 don't have any deletions. There are different types of R20. There's non-mosaic, where every cell in a person's body has the ring 20 chromosome. Mosaic is perhaps the most common, where only some of the cells have a ring chromosome. There's also supernumerary, where, where an extra ring is thrown in with the existing two chromosomes. I know. I'm mosaic. My symptoms don't seem to be as severe as those who have R20 in all their cells. Doesn't your friend have mosaic R20 as well? Yeah, but we don't experience R20 exactly the same. We've got different levels of mosaicism. We think that when our symptoms start and how severe they are may have something to do with the level of mosaicism, but knowing the level of mosaicism doesn't really help decide which treatment or medicine will work best. Gee, that must be a pain for the doctors. Even more of a pain for me, believe me. Why does R20 even happen in the first place? Why do chromosome ends stick together and cause these seizures and other problems? What an excellent question! And the answer is... We don't know. Or at least, it's still a bit of a mystery. But this is why we need research and help from families with R20, to try and find out the answers to these R20 mysteries. By studying blood samples from people with R20, experts can pay extra close attention to the genetic code of the chromosomes, including the end of the chromosomes that come together to form a ring. Is that really going to help with anything? It might help us with getting the right diagnosis for people with R20, and help scientists make more effective treatments for it. Those two things are huge. They would make such a difference for me and my family and for others on this journey. Do you know what else would be helpful? Sharing this video so more people can be aware of R20 and this exciting new research? You got it! What, you mean? Yes, now! Okay, I'm on the case.